Today marks the end of Ramadan as the Muslim fraternity is celebrating Eid al-Fitli. It is so significant that this period had a strong impact on our economy. And we also managed to liaise with some traders in the city to find out how businesses have been operating and faring in this whole season. With the proportion of traders being Muslims, consumer behavior and trading activity during the Ramadan period always declined, resulting in lower production. This has had a negative impact on a number of economic sectors, especially the commercial sector, including retail, hotel and transportation. A very big impact uh, or influence comes from the Muslim community in as far as business is concerned. And even when you go down, down downtown there, most of the ships are owned by Muslims because this is what they do, this is what they know best, they know trading, you know. So, bottom line, we have an impact, and as I highlighted, we have people that are saying, I'm going to work from morning up to midday. You know, how many hours are there that are left? Somebody's going back home to cook iftar, you know. How many people are going to be impacted with his absentia? But when Muslims are not spending, at the minute there is cost of money in the economy. And when there is cost of money in the economy, it just implies that the purchasing capacity of some individuals will be low. People tend not to move. People tend to do jobs which are, can't like squeeze them because they are fasting. People tend to give most of their lives to Allah. They let go some other things which are not in line with their faith. Yeah, so that become a very big negative impact to the, the, the economy. On the contrary, the meat business, which always has success during this period, is having trouble keeping up with the increased demand for animals because this year's ED Day took many in the sector of guard. Most dealers expected ED to fall on Saturday, for instance. A kilogram of beef now costs 20,000 shillings instead of 15,000 shillings like it was before. <laughs> It is going on well. The only challenge is we weren't prepared for it. We expected it to be on Saturday, and now livestock is so expensive, and we're making quite lots of losses. In comparison to the previous years, money is so scarce this season because most people are poor. It's been difficult to purchase and sell meat to them. Even though the fasting season must have presented some difficulties, several businesses have benefited from ED celebrations thanks to higher sales and charity donations. As a result, the economy grows as people buy new clothes and presents, take advantage of exclusive deals, and spend money in the hope of making a profit now that Ramadan is over. Brunia Katsimi, Smart24TV, Business Today.